So okay. very good morning to all the participants. We are so glad to have you all here today. We appreciate your valuable present at this difficult time. Dear all, on behalf of Ramco Institute of Technology, we welcome you all for this workshop on Noodle for blending techno teaching and learning to bring you all much closer to spend this day with thought provoking knowledge. To begin with, I would like to welcome our dear principal Dr. L. Ganeshan and our dear vice principal Dr. S. Raja Karnakaran, who are a great backbone in organizing such wonderful unique events. Welcome, sir. Next, I would like to extend a special welcome to our resource person, Dr. K. S. Shekhar. Senior Lecturer, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Murugappa Polytechnic College, Chennai. We are happy to have you here, sir. Thank you for joining us. This event would not be so possible without the hard work and the dedication of our IE faculty coordinator and our student coordinators. Last but not least, I feel heartful thanks to the, all the participants for showing up a great interest for today's event. Once again, thank you all for listening to me patiently. Sir, you can take over the section, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. <coughs> uh, a very good morning to all the participants of this uh, one day webinar on uh, blended teaching learning methods using Moodle. So at the outset, I would like to thank the management of Ramco Institute of Technology, the HOD of Mechanical Engineering Department, before that the principal of uh, RIT and the team, the faculty team from Mechanical Engineering Department, especially Mr. Jabint. Uh, for repeatedly giving me opportunities to interact with the faculty members of RIT, students and other resource persons. Uh, yeah, special uh, thanks to all the uh, faculty and others involved in, in this uh, webinar. So, a uh, few months back, uh, uh, I have conducted an online session on uh, virtual tools for teaching and learning. And uh, after that, uh, Mr. Jabin uh, called for another program, which is uh, useful to teachers as well as students. So I thought of uh, having a session on uh, Moodle. So being a mechanical engineering person, um, I am not uh, much aware of the uh, codings and other things which uh, are related with uh, Moodle. But uh, I have practically using the Moodle for offering a, uh, FDP programs as well as to my students to conduct the regular classes. So I want to share that experience uh, with the participants of this program. So uh, the webinar, the today's session, uh, more or less going to be a practical demonstration on how the Moodle can be used for uh, regular teaching, uh, regular academic activities, and uh, how it will be beneficial to the teachers so that we are going to see in today's session okay so though the topic is uh, named as uh, blended teaching learning methods uh, for uh, uh, teaching using moodle so i'm not going to talk uh, much about the blended teaching method because uh, we are almost everyone aware of the blended teaching a flipped classroom or a hybrid model whatever you name it so because what uh, we are using uh, the techniques uh, that models for the last one year due to the pandemic situation uh, we used to have that uh, model of uh, uh, blended teaching learning methods so you are all uh, aware of that uh, blended teaching method now our uh, focus is how to use that uh, uh, moodle tool for offering the your regular subject or whatever the ftp or a special course uh, through Moodle, which can reach in mass. So we can uh, offer the course for even uh, more uh, thousands of members. You are again, as uh, engineering teachers, we are all well aware that uh, the MOOC platforms are already popular among the teachers of engineering and polytechnic across the country. We have Swayam platform, we have NPTEL platform, we have Coursera. There are a lot of uh, websites are offering uh, courses to, uh, in engineering and other fields and that. But if you want to offer a course to the mass, so uh, we, 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 we cannot uh, ask a uh, platform on uh, Swayam. Swayam is offering a uh, space to 
teachers to host their contents but uh, I, uh, all teachers will not get that opportunity maybe from the reputed institution the name of iit nit uh, those teachers can uh, create their courses and they can upload their uh, course content into them as via m portal and edpetel portal but uh, being working in uh, uh, engineering colleges and polytechnic colleges we will not get that opportunity that must see cd so uh, whether we can able to conduct uh, such an uh, a uh, mass uh, online course uh, for the students or uh, uh, to the public is it possible okay so that's what uh, we are going to see today okay. <clears throat> so let me start with uh, uh, my presentation uh, then we will go for the demonstration on using that the model code okay. so let me start my presentation so uh, many of you are aware that uh, with these basics and all module is a, a free uh, software which can be downloaded into your uh, laptop and installed it can be a teacher operated course uh, software or it can be an institutional control software where the, all the courses uh, conducted by an institution uh, can be controlled through the uh, management course management system uh, the abbreviation central is a common thing uh, during the one year you have come across many online courses and programs this is uh, the expansion of that uh, model so you can download and use it in any computer or in uh, the the cloud version of moodle is very popular right now you can call it as cl moodle cloud so you cannot download to anything to your uh, system just you can upload your uh, course content into the course website and you can share the website with us so, uh, so your students so they can easily access from there. so you need not download always so if you are in institution you can download in your uh, server and you can install the moodle in server that can be controlled by the administrator and all that setup also is there but he, without those things a teacher can directly create their uh, own uh, moodle site and they can share the link with their student they can uh, operate separately the, that is also there with the help of moodle cloud and all so that is what mentioned here it can be uh, scale from a single teacher a, a site you can create your own site or a college or university with a large number of students where all the courses uh, offered by the institution can be uh, controlled through the uh, course management system model okay so this is an open access uh, uh, software so the model can be used uh, for an uh, creating an effective environment learning environment it will engage the students for better learning and uh, it diversify teaching methods you can include multimedia content you can include uh, games uh, the latest moodle version came with uh, uh, teaching through gamification methods and all so it will simplify the grading uh, process you need not go for uh, uh, calculating the interval marks you need not go for uh, uh, using excel complicated excel sheets to create the interval marks and all so this will uh, uh, create automatically create the grades and uh, inform you and uh, you can uh, communicate with the participants of the course through various forum charts all those things are available in built in the model and um, so you can create any kind of uh, material for uh, your subject you can uh, refer a website you can include pictures you can include uh, pdf documents word documents you can include multimedia contents you can create customized uh, uh, pieces and you can create your uh, <coughs> own uh, games all those things are inbuilt with the multimedia so and uh, the most important thing is uh, the students uh, can access uh, your course website through mobile phone so they can easily uh, through apps they can easily connect to you they need not uh, always need not have the laptop or uh, pc for accessing the course contents they can be easily access through mobile phone and the tablet so and uh, the thing is the student can uh, take their own time they can study at their uh, own pace so there is uh, like uh, other live classes where the so when the teacher teaches the student has to attend you to get the things uh, into his uh, mind so here we we are using pre recorded videos and all so the students can leisurely uh, 
uh, attend the courses and they, he can uh, attend the course at their at their own pace. That is an important advantage of using this uh, module. So these things at all you already know. So what uh, the majority functions we are uh, having in the regular classroom that can be uh, available that is available in the module also. So you can uh, teach, you can give assignments, you can conduct the quizzes, you can create the students, and you can take even, you can take the attendance on uh, hourly basis or daily basis when they are visiting. I will show the, uh, uh, the Moodle site, uh, how when students are visiting your website, how to get the details and all. So you can conduct the even the examination, even you can give the certificate through Moodle also. So now what we are, uh, the majority of the, people doing for online pieces and online FTP and all, they are sending a Google form. Uh, once you submit the, uh, your responses, the certificate or autocrat will generately, uh, automatically generate the certificates and distribute them. The same uh, way, uh, course completion certificate can also, bo also be generated in the module automatically. That can, uh, that can be also uh, 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 developed in the module. And we can, um, to motivate the students, you can uh, introduce batches. So when the student complete a particular activity, he will receive a batch from the course teacher. Well done, congratulations, you have completed this task and all, like that. So they can uh, receive, they will receive the batches as and when they complete activities in the uh, course, okay? So now uh, in, to, in today's uh, session, uh, we are uh, going to see the demonstration on how to create a, a, a Moodle account and how to create a course using Genomia. This is more popular nowadays. So even the Moodle Cloud and Moodle, Moodle Cloud, Genomia are all looking uh, same. They are, there is no difference at all. Only the hosting, uh, uh, hosting is different. So Moodle Cloud is the cloud version of the model. So as I told you already, uh, for model you can download it into our uh, system and you can install uh, and which can be controlled by an administration for institution. Whereas the model cloud is a cloud version, a teacher can uh, build their own website, they can upload their own content which is, which is available uh, uh, for easy access to the students. Like the Genomia is also a similar thing the difference is uh, the Moodle Cloud free version can have up to five part 50 participants. The Moodle Cloud account can have up to 50 participants and it is free for uh, 45 days. If there is no activity after uh, those things, the uh, Moodle will automatically delete your site and all this. Uh, that uh, uh, issues is there. Whereas the uh, Genomia is, uh, there is no restriction in number of uh, participants of the course. You can enroll as many as uh, participants into your uh, course. Um, there's, though there may be some restriction through Genomia that they are not a company and they can restrict uh, fellow uh, participants. So I have conducted a course on uh, ICT tools using Genomia where I can enroll, I enrolled 1,300 participants, but all the participants are not participating in the event. Uh, ultimately, 400 uh, uh, participants completed the course. But what I'm coming to say is here, the number of participants for course is restricted to 50, where here you can have any number of participants and you can have any number of course also in the Genomia. Okay, so this is about the uh, Genomia, the Moodle code. Uh, let me take you to the uh, site, how you can create the Moodle uh, Cloud account and the Genomia account, uh, we will see, okay. So let us go to the, um, <coughs> Moodle cloud site. So this is the Moodle uh, cloud site. Uh, you can uh, give moodlecloud.com and go to the uh, and enter into the address bar and you can get this window where you go to create a new Moodle cloud free account. You have to get uh, get, the, get started. From there, it will take you another page where you will get <coughs> the link for creating it. Uh, a free uh, website, a free Moodle Cloud website. So here you can see the various uh, uh, tariff available for uh, various uh, categories for 50 users, 100 users, and 200 users and all. So this is about Moodle Cloud, the, where you have to pay and uh, use this Moodle Cloud site. And for trying free, you have to click here. So try all the features of Moodle Cloud free for 40 days. 
so it is available it can be available for 45 days suppose if you want to have the contents after 45 days what you can do so you can uh, you can download the code uh, contents into a file into your system and whenever you want you can upload into the course website it, you need not build again and again so once you build the course uh, website with the contents uh, into it you can download it as a uh, zip like file and you can uh, whenever you want you can imp import into any site not only in your site if you want to convert your course content into your institution site you can just import your uh, course contents into the institution site it will be uploaded to your institution website so that is that facility is there so it will have some uh prescribed steps to create a free moodle cloud account so i am not going to because i already created account using my email and all so it will not take me to that uh, things so i am i will be sharing at the end of this uh, session a step by step procedure uh, for how to create a moodle cloud account and how to use uh, how to create a new course how to add uh, students into this and how to give quizzes and how to get the credits and all Uh, step by step procedure uh, i have created and i will share the link at the end of the session what i am uh, telling right now is how to create a moodle cloud account so you have to uh, there is a free account which is available for 45 days you can uh, you can try free for this uh, moodle cloud account okay and uh, for genomia site you can uh, enter the genomia.com website and where you will create you will see this uh, page if you want to create a site uh maybe um, uh, you can name it any uh, any name for your website and see that whether it is available and give your uh, email id it will be created the uh, it will create a uh, website and uh, after entering into this you can as usual there will be some standard uh, formalities uh, like uh, giving your uh, mobile number getting a, a link to your email and confirming the email by from you uh, from your email all these things will happen once you created the <coughs> website so your website will be like this so this is my genomia uh, uh, moodle site so this moodle cloud and genomia uh, or uh, add uh, will uh, this is art sites uh, they are operate, giving it freely you will be receiving ad in the, in the sites sometimes it will uh, uh, block the screen so you have to remove that uh, ads and you can to see the content you got to remove the content okay so this is the uh, genomia uh, module site uh, created so and uh, this is the thing i already told you when you click links it will take you to some ad you can uh, remove the ads by clicking uh, the cross bars so this is uh, these are the available courses in my uh, module genomia model website so as i told you already these uh, model uh, sites can be used for offering courses uh, to the society or public as well as you can use it for uh, giving uh, delivering courses to the your students okay so you can see that this is the one week uh, free online ftp this is a, a course offered to the uh, public uh, that is teachers uh, across the country where you can see that the number of participants is around um, you can see that i have uh, 470 participants found okay these are the 470 final participants participated in the event so uh, the main advantage of using uh, this uh, model cloud site is you can uh, reach as many as participants uh, easily in a single search okay so when you are going for moodle cloud there is a restriction even you cannot have all your class students because normally the class strength will be 60 for engineering colleges and polytechnic colleges so the moodle cloud restricts the number of participants to 50 but in our college we all the departments except the computer and ee are approved with the 30 intake so we i have created a, a moodle site for single classes 30 students can be easily accommodated in the moodle cloud moodle cloud site so i initially i used the moodle cloud but now i am using the genomia because uh, of the advantages i already told you you can uh, have as many as participants and you can have as many as courses okay so that is the advantage of using the genomia okay so when you are uh, going to the uh, created an account and log into your uh, genomia site it will be look like 
this uh, as i have already have courses it will be the courses will be listed here if i am going to create a new course you can uh, go for uh, this uh, turn editing on so don't bother about the steps i am doing because this uh, course uh, this uh, thing cannot be uh, covered in a single day there is lot of uh, help forums available for moodle uh, sites and also i i told you know i i will be sharing a file with you at the end of the course so we can, there is a, there is a step by step procedure to create a new site and uh, how to create a new course once you explore into this and you can uh, learn many things even uh, i cannot uh, I, i have not uh, explored all the um, features of this model okay so create turn editing on and you can see this you can add a new course uh, whenever possible you, uh, you want to add a new course I, you can add a new course okay so just uh, create an account turn editing on and you can have the uh, add a new course title here so if you want to add a course on uh, let us uh, um, blender learning so you can add the course okay you can name it the course uh, and you can uh, short names also mandatory the red things are the uh, red mark indicates it's a mandatory thing. okay okay so i can create a course format is another thing uh, whether you want to uh, normally in our subject we have unit 1 2 3 4 5 5 units uh, sometimes uh, we, we we may offer course and weekly format week 1 week 2 week 3 like that so we it may be weekly format we we it may be topic format like unit 1 unit 2 or where social format it may be of any type single activity format even this uh, moodle cloud can also uh, used for conducting a single uh, day course a single day course on single topic say suppose like what we are doing right now how to uh, create a moodle cloud site you can uh, develop a course for creating a moodle cloud site we create uh, videos uh, uh, by demonstrating you can upload the course students can uh, enroll into the course and complete the task in a single day so that is also uh, the, that is a single activity for you can conduct uh, uh, awareness environmental awareness course you can conduct in uh, one day course one hour course all the things are possible okay so let me go for a weekly format so and finish these are the various features available you can explore those things okay so i have uh, now i have created a course on um, i can enroll the participant to the courses and all okay so again the, for enrolling participant you have different methods okay so uh, as of now i will have a break here and we will go back to the uh, presentation so this is uh, about the moodle cloud site and uh, this is about the genomia site as i have told you already where you can uh, build your own website okay so you can uh, create an uh, online course and various uh, you can uh, assign uh, your fellow staff members sometimes in uh, um, moocs where thousands of teacher thousands of participants are enrolled a single teacher cannot uh, uh, handle the course so you, you you may need the help of your fellow members uh, fellow staff members or fellow uh, other members and they can be added into the site and they can be assigned with a different roles okay so uh, each and every role have the different privileges by module so that is the thing you are saying here and uh, how to setting up a course on module this is a demonstration but uh, what you are seeing right now so it can be a single activity uh, format uh what uh, what you are uh, what i told you just right now i have selected a weekly format so this is a single activity format which can be used for uh, a survey uh, or sharing a book uh, or a video lecture like that a single activity it is only used for a single activity okay so the, you can use a single activity format to assign learners some readings so the blender learning is coming here so the blender learning is nothing but the related theory contents and uh, related instructions are already uh, shared with the students when the student comes to class he will be going he will be prepared by going through the subject contents and he will be 
uh, more concentrate on uh, discussing and uh, getting clarified and uh, uh, they, they can dive it deeply into the subject contents they can get it clarified so that is the advantage of blended teacher learning so instead of teachers uh, taking classes on the board and only the students learning the basics so the uh, course related contents the explanation from the teacher and the basics explained by the teacher were already shared with the students the student uh, gone through the material in the in his home and uh, he can uh, come with an idea so the classroom deliberations will be more on deep uh, discussion and clarification and uh, content deliver to the students earlier so that is what the advantage of uh, the blended uh, teaching learning method and uh, flipped classroom methods okay so the another topics format is uh, you can see from here you can uh, have the contents uh, as i told you already you can go for unit 1 unit 2 like that so i have uh, if uh, if you are uh, conducting a course on four week course on something we can go for the weekly format so here you can see weekly format so the starting date when the starting date when the ending date uh, it will be uh, divided into weekly okay and social format anything you can you can choose your uh, you you can different uh, format it will be a different format okay so so and you can now we will see how an activity can be added to the course website okay so now i have created a course on weekly format you can see here so this is the bl that is a blended learning course i have created so which is uh, having of uh, default by default it is four weeks course you can add more course okay so uh, now we can go to the course this is the course so first march to seventh march how the first march is created that is available in the uh, course uh, page you can uh, change the starting date and end date of the courses okay so this is the blended learning course so you can uh, uh, edit the course details okay so the start date and end date will be based on the, those details okay <coughs> so you can edit these details okay edit week so when this uh, going to happen all those things you can uh, change okay you can create the customized date all the things okay so now we will see how to add a uh, yeah, course content for the so this is a course now i want to if you want to add course content to this format this weekly format so you can uh, just add an activity or resource you can click on this it will take you to the button where you can add you can suppose if you are already have a recorded video or if you are already have a Uh, create a document um, like manual or course material is already prepared which is available with you you can upload with some instruction to the students say for uh, uh, let me uh, upload a file and uh, to the mx at you let me upload a file so i can, i am clicking a file so as i already told you and the file name is i am giving uh, create course creation using module so this description and all uh, is optional whether you want to have a description you go kindly go through the material and create a, a course like that you what are the instruction you want to share with your students you can share and i have already created a material i am choosing that material from the upload file option So this is a content I have already created. Moodle course creation learning material that I have uploaded this file. So the file is uploaded, and uh, this file can be open in the Moodle site il itself, or it can be open in uh, uh, Papa. It's a separate uh, uh, window. 
if you click that it will take you to the separate window like that or it will be uh, embedded in the page itself those option you can uh, click okay okay and if you want to share, show, show the size of the file and type of the file uh, for the viewers you can those things and <clears throat> you can restrict the access you say for example if you want to uh, if you want want to give permission to the students to access this file uh, with a condition suppose if you have uh, four or five activities and the students completed the activity one only will be allowed to see the activity two those completed activity two only can move to the activity three like that the restrictions you can create so the student site away if a student uh, go to unit five and you can they cannot see the content they have to go through step by step take a, some in some online courses uh, we are directly going to the final examination and filling the pieces and getting the certificates and all so that like that uh, it will not be uh, you can restrict things the so the participant must go through the all the contents and in case uh, the, you can create the additional restriction also at the end of the uh, activity one you can have a test if the students pass the test then only they can go to the activity two and in activity two there will be a test if the student pass the activity two then they can go to the activity three. like that you can create the uh, customized restrictions and all <clears throat> so those things are uh, um, possible with the help of the model you can explore those things and uh, students uh, on completion of this activity uh, they, what it will be ta taken so what will be happen those things uh, this is an indicators for the students whether uh, they completed the thing or not they, there will be some marks will come that can be seen okay so and if you want to uh, build some competencies uh, the in that uh, uh, particular module you can uh, build so these are the some advanced features of the Model. So the basically, uh, what uh, we are uh, seeing is you can uh, add the contents, you can uh, add the uh, test assignments pieces, and you can see the grades. That is the basic thing what you are uh, doing in the custom, uh, the uh, conventional classroom. That thing only we are seeing. You can have number of features available so that we can add in the subsequent uh, uh, after you are exploring more. So this now you can see that in the first week I have already uh, added a material, and uh, what are uh, what are all the other things you can going on adding. So you can give an assignment, you can give an quiz like that. So now you will go to the presentation. Let's see, uh, we will go step by step. Okay. So this is how the activities are added. Uh, this is short uh, animated uh, things. You can have this much uh, options available. So you can have so many options. You can give assignment, you can chat, you can uh, link a website, you can link a video, YouTube video, or uh, you can uh, add a quiz. So, so many options are available for uh, activity. So, uh, Sir Jabin, sir, uh, uh, am I going in the very fast or uh, okay, sir? No, sir, it's okay, sir. You are okay. going in a correct speed, sir. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank, you. Uh, thank you, sir. So, there are uh, 14 types of activities and uh, 7 types of resources are available to add. So, these are the activities. Activities in the sense, assignment, a piece, uh, survey, these are the some type of activities. Resources in the sense, you can um, refer a website, you can include a uh, file, uh, you can include uh, the some uh, what do you call it as uh, some uh, folders books all these things are possible books in the sense uh, like uh, uh, online books uh, kindle uh, like that so you can uh, uh, give the links to the students in the uh, resources section okay and then now we will going to see how to add quizzes so if you want to build a quiz you can have so choose a section where you would like to add a quiz and then add an activity or resources and choose quiz in pop-up window. After doing this, you will get a quiz setting mono. So again, in quiz, what are all the possible quiz methods and uh, there are a lot of uh, quizzes. There are uh, 15 types of questions you can use, such as multiple choice, matching, drag and drop, one word, uh, choose the correct answer, uh, fill in the blanks. There are several uh, 
uh, quiz questions can be added. So you can see from the so calculations, uh, essay, matching, multiple choice. Uh, there are a number, numerous, around 15 types of questions you can use in the uh, your uh, question building. Okay. So uh, let me uh, explain how a question, a quiz can be built. Okay. So in unit one, I have uploaded a question, a uh, course material, and now I am going for adding a quiz. Okay. So all the things for all the things uh, you have to use the turn editing button on. Once turning editing button on, you will see this uh, plus marks here, uh, cross marks here. Uh, where you can add the quiz or something. So now I am going to add a quiz. So the presentation, uh, the video, presentation video, you, you, you the quiz options and all shown uh, like this. Uh, the left side, uh, it, it came, but here the options are available in the the new this is updated version of the Moodle cloud you can see all these things activities and resources here these are the activities these are the so instead of uh, scrolling in the left side the updated version is having like this okay so where uh, you can uh, add a quiz so this is the add a quiz option so quiz one I have name it as a quiz one so the description you want to you can uh, give timing when the uh, quiz should be open when the quiz should be closed okay in google forms normally we used to give the cutoff date for quizzes or uh, for first 100 members like that here like that you can have the uh, quiz timing open quiz and uh, closing quiz and the, within the time you can set the time limit all the one so this is open it should be uh, completed uh, by uh, 30 minutes or 40 minutes like that you can uh, fix the timings and all so you, if you want to set these things you can uh, uh, click these things and you have to put value if the in between before <coughs> submission of the quiz if even something happen what what is to be done that instruction you have to give and grading so it will automatically get, get uh, create grades and if you want to fix you can fix the grade to pass if you are giving a 25 uh, mark quiz to pass if you fix a 15 as a criteria you can fix a 15 okay so once that that's what I, in the previous section i told you you can uh, if you fix the grade to pass and fix a condition the students passed in this section only can be moved to the other section it will not allow others to move to the second session. So then how the failed students will move to the second session? For that, you can give provision for them to appear for the second time. So the, all the things are possible. You can uh, give the uh, uh, permission for them to appear for the second time. Once they pass in the second time, then they will go to the next session. Like those things are possible. And the question uh, just it will be appearance of the question in the quiz. You can have 15 questions in a page, 10 questions in a page, or five, five section wise. If you are going for section wise, first five questions from the unit one and second question from unit two, third five questions from unit three, like that. You can go for the five questions per page, like that, okay? And uh, we you have a number of options, the question behavior, how to review the questions, all the things you can explore. And restrict access so this is what uh, we are repeatedly using uh, restrict access and activity completion like that okay so now we are uh, now we are saying so the quiz is created but without questions so if you want to add questions you can go for edit quiz and you can add the questions okay so now i am going to add a question so this is what important how many possible ways you can a question can be or uh, you can have a question bank. So whatever the questions you are uh, entering that is stored in your uh, system, you can take that question also. So uh, let me show you a question. Uh, first, I am creating a new question. So this is the various option, multiple choice, true, false, matching, short answer, numerical, essay, calculation, calculated uh, multi-choice, calculated. There, there are different options. And drag and drop 
yes for using pictures you can give pictures and labels you can drag and drop them into the space to get uh, to know whether they can uh, they are able to label the parts of figure so if you want to check whether the students can able to label the parts of the figure you can use drag and drop options drag and drop marks these things can be used okay so 15 types of uh, questions you can add so now i'm so sure i'm showing you a multiple adding a multiple choice okay okay so here you can you have to give the value uh let me have a simple question mm, expansion for module okay. so this is the uh, question name you can name it as uh, one or two like that 1.1 and uh, question text you can put some question so mark for the default mark for that and uh, if there is only one say uh, one answer you can give only one answer suppose in some uh, questions all the above uh, like that if you are having uh, having more than uh, uh, one answer you can uh, multiple answers you can mark it as and accordingly how many answers are uh, right you can share the points also if they, there are two answers 0.5 point five, point five mark if for three answers 0.3 point, point like that you get, you can share the marks also so now i have the question uh, the expansion of moodle uh, and uh, choices i have to give the choices will be shuffled the shuffle choices option you can have or you may not have the, that depends upon the uh, your choice okay so the first uh, first option you can give some uh, expansion value mm. so you can have this value here so the answer is here then grade is 100% for this answer uh, so this is a second answer so it's not a correct answer so there is no grade for this question and this is a third option and there is no uh, um, options for those things so i have given four choices and uh, if you want to give them uh, multiple uh, choices you can give Uh, for each and every uh, wrong things you can give penalty mark also various uh, options are uh, there you can explore okay now the question one is created expansion of moodle is created so and uh, i can add another question from a bank so i have some uh, i as i have already um, have some questions you can if you have the previously uh, uploaded question you can have the question sent out okay so this is the new course so i am not having a question bank if if i go to some other courses uh, offered by me i can get the previously used questions that can be uh, uploaded from the question bank okay so this is how the uh quiz is created and uh, i can save save the question for uh, i can give one mark okay so now you can see the quiz came here so i have added a material i have added a quiz and the thing is uh, you can uh, shift them you can move them i will tell you after completing the next task so then now i want to add an assignment to the uh, I, i want to add the assignment to my unit 1 i can uh, add the assignment okay 
So active, by clicking the activity, you can uh, uh, give an assignment. So the students can uh, submit assignment and you get in the prescribed time. Okay. So I want to give an assignment. Uh, so I, I am going for uh, assignment task. Let me, it is available. The symbol with the hand, hand in with an assignment is a symbol for assignment. So assignment one. Assignment one. So submit. Yeah, I am. Uh, you can whatever the description you can give. So simply, I am going to uh, uh, give them a create model model cloud. Create a course using model cloud. And upload the word document with the important snapshots of important pages. Important pages. So this is a description. If you want to, if you have questions uh, like what you are giving to the students right now, you are giving some questions. It can be uh, in a, a uploaded with as a PDF file or Word file. And here, this is the important uh, part where you can fix the assignment deadlines. When the assignment submission starts, when the assignment uh, cutoff date is due, and uh, if, uh, if you want to your remainder, you can set the remainder also. So these uh, due cutoff dates and the due dates can be modified by the teacher at any time. If you if majority of your students are not submitted the assignment that they want an extension at time, you can uh, log into your site and you can change the uh, due date at any time. Okay. And uh, what are the file formats they can uh, uh, upload? Other things also possible. You can, they can submit as a file or they can uh, submit as a text. They can uh, directly type and submit uh, assignments so that are also uh, permissible. So, and you can select the permissible file type. They can submit as a uh, document file, a PDF or document file. They can uh, upload as a presentation file. They can uh, upload as a video file. By all the file format, it depends upon the assignment you are giving. If you want to get them and uh, get the assignments done in your document file, or if you want to uh, if you want to give an assignment to your students as a video recording, they let them upload a video file. That is also possible. Okay, all the these are the various file formats that can be accepted as a assignment. So I am choosing document type and presentation type. Okay. So these are the uh, types of uh, assignments accepted, and as usual, we have. Uh, restriction, grading, and completion activity, all these things. You just go to explore. Majority of the things will not uh, uh, useful for us for a regular uh, activity assignment. So now I am saving. So now the assignment is created. So when the students log into the course, they can uh, they can see a yeah, icon to submit their uh, assignments. Okay. So the, here you can see the uh, time remaining for submission of assignment, how many submitted, all those things, details will come here. So, so I can show a uh, assignment submitted uh, to my previous courses. I can, uh, you can see that I, uh, we will take this uh, FDP course. So here you can see, uh, I will switch on the turn editing off then only you can see that. So this is the uh, free course offered uh, for the one week for ICT tools, uh, where in day one, this is a one week course, where in assignment in day one, this is uh, yeah day, uh, like what we are uh, seeing right now is weekly format. The weekly format is, uh, uh, is activity format, unit wise like that, I have created for uh, seven days. So day seven, day six, five, four, so all those things, okay. So at the end of the day one, the participant has to attend a quiz 
so where you can refer the quiz using the google form links or you can create a customized quiz so this is the being the first day the students are not much familiar about the moodle courses and all so the first and second day moreover the content of the course is on google google for education part 1 and google for education part 2 the first two day quizzes we have designed using the uh, google forms and after the third day the quizzes are in the uh moodle site itself you can see the icon here this is the icon for uh, quiz in moodle site whereas here the quizzes are referring to the uh, google form okay so we can uh, i have added a quiz and i have added a assignment so you can this uh, once you give assignment when the students log in they will see like this only if you click here you can see that so i have uh, given some instruction how to uh submit the assignment so in the demonstration i i, I have given the assignment name only the description not given here i can give that description also so the description given by me and here you can see the number of participants are 470 participants and uh, those submitted assignment are 336 so that's what i already told you if you are going for an uh, MOOC course where uh, huge number of participants are uh, submitting assignment. As a single person, we cannot uh, evaluate all these three hundred and thirty-six uh, assignments. Okay, so you can add your uh, fellow teachers as uh, co-teachers. And one more important uh, feature the Google and the <coughs> model having is so the assignments can be peer reviewed. <coughs> you can uh, there is a feature called workshop in the uh, module you can uh, create uh, a uh, peer reviewing system where 336 uh, participants are assigned with uh, their fellow members assignment one or two that criteria you can fix every individual from this uh, participant will receive two assignments from their fellow participant they have to go through their assignment and they have to evaluate based on the rubric you have to set the rubric also so if they are able to create a moodle cloud site you can give five mark if they are uh, uh, moodle site is uploaded with a document you can give five mark if there is a video in the moodle cloud site you can give five mark like that you can create a rubric the fellow uh, the part every individual participant has to evaluate two of uh, one or two of their fellow participants assignment and they can evaluate that mark can be added so the teacher need not evaluate all the 300 all the 1000 students assignment if any objection raised by the participant there is a provision for that also uh, my assignment the assignment submitted by me is evaluated by uh, uh, some other person uh, maybe you can uh, it can be evaluated by two persons if the two persons have not gone through my assignment properly and they have given very low mark i am not satisfied with the evaluation of my assignment i can raise the, an objection which is directly go to the teachers of that course and they will go on to, to go through your assignment they can evaluate your assignment and they can uh, readjust your mark that facility is there so the, the thing is uh, like a moodle uh, moo courses where thousands of students are participating in the course you need not uh, evaluate all the uh, participants evaluation sheets that is not at all possible even if you have two or three teachers for the course it is not possible so uh, that facility is available so here uh, 336 uh, students have submitted their assignment but i have not grade, graded the assignments so those who are submitted this uh, those who are submitted their names can be taken from the database Uh, based on the database we issued the certificate through them okay so this is uh, the uh, rubrics criteria i have given for the assignments so uh, if the google form this is an assignment on creating a google form with pieces so uh, the rubrics fixed are accessibility of google form if it is accessible with uh, without sign in one point with the sign some you can go through you might have come across some google form where it uh, won't rec require any sign in you have you need not to log in so for that you want to if it requires login and sign you can uh, give two points and use of questions a minimum uh, four types of questions are used you can give two marks if uh, with branching option used four marks 
So like that, I have created a uh, rubrics. So based on the rubrics, the students will get their marks. Okay. So this is about the assignments. Uh, for like that, uh, for uh, ever, all the uh, day we have assignments and quizzes. So the day one assignment and day one quiz. If you click the day one quiz, it will take you to the a quiz for the day one so but right now the quiz forms are closed you will not uh, you may not it may not open okay this is the tool for uh, it will take you to the quizzes okay like that you can take uh, the help of external links for quizzes or you can build your quiz uh, in the moodle site itself so the third day the quiz is on create build on the uh, moodle site itself so this is how to the uh, so the total of 465 students attempted this quiz. Attempts 465. Okay. So this since the time is past, uh, I, I may not attend, attend the quiz. Okay. Like that. So you can uh, add assignments. You can add uh, quizzes, and you can. These are the things. Uh, is called a discussion forum. Yeah, for every day, if you if the participants have any query, they can. Uh, they can create and they can discuss in the discussion forums okay and um, these are the contents refer i have i have not created contents for this i have just simply referring the external pages if you create if you click this page it will take you to the some external video and external page okay so how to prepare google forms so this is an uh, free and open so uh, uh, video created under common attribution lines. I used that video for the course. So they can, it will take you to the uh, videos. So Google, YouTube videos and all, just by giving the links, you can refer the YouTube videos, okay? So like that, you can uh, include any video. The, if, if I want, I can add my uh, own video. So I have created a own video. Uh, this is a welcome address by me. So I have created using some uh, tools. I have added, if you are taking a lecture, uh, that, we, uh, that video can also be added here. So the thing is, you can use any kind of type of content into the course website. You have to arrange logically orderly with the contents, video, documents, pictures, quizzes, assignment, uh, what you are uh, doing in a conventional classroom, in that order, you can create the contents in the course website and you can open it to the students, that's all. When the students are accessible, all your contents, they can go through the contents, uh, either uh, document or videos or whatever it may be, they can learn from them. And the thing is, uh, you can have the online uh, session also inbuilt with it. So the difference between the online classes, that is uh, the conventional uh, uh, classes, which is happening through Zoom meeting, uh, Google Meet, like and all, and the Moodle is. So the Moodle have pre-recorded videos and documents and all. At the same time, you can plan, you can schedule an online meeting using the uh, tools, online video tools like Zoom and all, inside the Moodle also, that is also possible right now. Okay. So this is uh, day one content. And I have uh, the restriction I told you, no. So that restriction, you can see. Yes. So you can, this content will be available only from 11th. So the first uh, three days contents, I have uh, restriction removed. Because the first three days, uh, the participants find it difficult to uh, uh, browse through their contents. So the restrictions are removed. So those who are familiar with the uh, things, they just complete everything and uh, they wanted to access the fourth day quiz in the second day itself. So that's why I made a restriction. This fourth day content will be visible only on 11th June onwards. If, they are take, uh, if the students completed the day three content in the... Uh, 10th, 10th June, and they want to access the uh, even day force contents in advance, they will not, uh, they cannot access the content till uh, 11th June and, uh, from 1 a.m. onwards. So, uh, like that, I have restriction, I have made restriction for all the remaining days. So, the day 6 will be available only from 13th June. 
and this is for uh, opening the content and this is for uh, restriction if i complete this uh, online class via google meet then only i can come to this topic if i complete this topic then only i can come to this like that uh, we can uh, going on restriction uh, uh, nested with the, the previous activities okay so that also possible that totally once you go through this and you can explore uh, many options available whatever you want to uh, give your students in a conventional classroom all possibilities are there in this module class okay. this is the final uh, day uh, thing and this is the uh, online uh, google meet uh, and planned but that's not happen so this is how the course contents are uh, this is for a single day. so let me uh, show the um, example for our regular uh, diploma students uh, class how i used the module for uh, uh, our regular class class uh, regular classes so this is the subject in the previous semester and this is the subject i am currently handling so let me have uh, take you to the previous semester course page because in the current semester i have not add, added a content set so in the previous semester you can see so this is the uh, initial uh, uh things so i have uh, i have given the notes unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 handouts dot board exam solutions dot board exam solution course reference material important questions for exam previous year question paper these are all pdf contents just uh, the students may uh, use it for their reference and all so i added first uh, in the opening page itself and uh, there are uh, announcement as and when i am i want to give them so the announcement you can see so i am uh, online classes i have post attendance it will reach their mails attendance for 21 9 and uh, uh, for all the individual days attendance for 9 10 10 11 12 10 so as and when i uploaded the attendance detail here the students will receive the attendance in their email okay so these things are possible you need not uh, compose mails and all if you enroll your students into this course you just uh, put some information it will reach them their mail shortly whatever the information not only attendance i can i, can, I, uh, I inform them the course materials are uh, on the website like that sir let me sir <coughs> hello so sir you can carry on sir correct if you want to start now you just inform sir i am almost finishing okay so, sir you can carry on whatever information you want to inform the students you can put it in the announcement that it will reach the participants okay this is the course materials i have put it to them and uh, gave them links so they can easily access it access so this is the initial uh, the materials they need and then i gone through the unit wise so this is a unit 1 uh, the theory contents so you, uh, the student this is being a practical subject on press tools the students uh, may not seen the presses and the various operations and all so in the theory classes i have given them the theory content and uh, here I, i i have added various the video related to the subject ha sulra ha normal kala Okay. Okay. So here the uh, I have added the links for uh, the various uh, operations. Ah. So uh, as the students uh, click the links, yeah. we'll take them to the some various uh, pages, and they can see the practical. Yeah. Uh, First, what is it? Yeah. Sheet metal applications is good formability. This is the sheet metal's ability to deform into intricate shapes. assignment so i'm giving assignments for the students i i gave an assignment for uh, drawing and ob press hello done marks yes sir ah kekura hello ah
இல்ல அதான் கேமரா வந்து கொஞ்சம் ஸ்கொயர் பிராடா இருக்கும் இல்ல வந்து ரெக்டாங்கல் மாதிரி வரும் அது ஸ்கொயர் மாதிரி வரும் கொஞ்சம் அதான் பிங்கர் பிரிண்ட் okay so this is an uh, assignment given to our students to uh, submit uh, uh, their assignment uh, so these are the students submitted and i have already graded them for uh, with uh, some mark so this is how the students are submitted and uh, got their grades if they are not submitted it is not graded okay so what they are submitted that can be easily downloaded into your uh, system uh, i will see uh, so this is the assignment of one of our uh, student they submitted let me check if you click grade it will take them to the grading page where the short uh, symbols will be given so this is the drawing gear uh, drawn and submitted by the assignment so you can uh, go to the grade and you can see that in the this is the submission so this is the first uh, on the student and uh, their name email id all those things will come if i want to see the next student's uh, submission you can click the next student so this is the next student submission so if it is not in a proper format or it is not submitted they will not get the uh view so here he is not submitted so the grade out of 10 is zero if it is not submitted i will put them zero and you can give the comments also you can review the comments and you can give the comments go to very good like that you can give the comments also and uh, it's uh, sometimes you can see that uh, i have given them instruction to draw the uh, drawing using the pencil and write their names using pen to avoid uh, uh, using a different uh, uh, persons the same assignment used by different person but some uh, students are not uh, followed it i will uh, mention them it in the comments here you can see the comments so i, I told them to draw the draw assignment in a3 sheet so not in a3 sheet draw neatly write name and other details in top right corner use pencils for drawing so you can add any comments on this And, uh, and you can grade them accordingly okay so this is how the uh, comments section in the assignment can be used okay so i have, this is the i have given assignment one and i got some problems also to solve them so if you click uh, i can give some problem and ask them to submit as an this is a question assignment question i given to them as i told you already you can uh, give them assignments you can create pdf files this is a problems for them they have to uh, uh, give the solutions this is two problems i have given to them with the model calculations some model calculations also i gave to them so let me see and uh, let me uh, whether how they submitted so this these are the things they have submitted so this is a students uh, submission so this is the page 1 of 6 of students submission page 2 page 3 like that so you can download all the, the entire uh, students submission into your system and you can uh, uh, evaluate it offline that is also possible okay so this is about assignment this is about the quiz i already told you i have given them some quizzes they can uh, take the only uh, out of 60 students 58 students are uh, uh, attended the quizzes okay so the number of attempts allowed is only one if you want you can uh, give them uh, two chances also the uh, the best of two will be taken that is also possible 
So, so this is assignment and uh, uh, quizzes. This is for uh, other uh, unit two and unit five assignment two. So assignment two again, uh, I can give some uh, drawings and all. Assignment three is a model exam and seminar. I can give some time not at all. Whatever the regular uh, activities you are having in your academics that can be uh, uh, brought into your uh, Moodle site. And uh, you can uh, always have a uh, control over the contents. And as I told you, I will show, you can move the contents also from, uh, to arrange the orders, you can move the contents. So let me go to this. So I, I, this is what we have seen, we are seeing. So now I want to give assignment before the quiz, you can move the assignment above. Okay. Like that you can add any content, any material into your course website. Okay. So and the next important part is adding the learners. That is manage learners, nothing but adding participants to the learners. So the you can uh, enroll the participants uh, using manual enrollment methods, and uh, they can uh, they can register themselves. That is also possible. They can register on their own. But uh, the method uh, suitable for us is mass enrollment. Say if I have sixty students detail, I put them in the Excel format. Uh, name of the students, uh, username. You can create your uh, customized username and password. And they, uh, you can enroll them in a single step. All the 60 students will be enrolled in the uh, your course. So this uh, manual enrollment method and bulk is uh, best suited because others cannot be enrolled into your course. Only those who are uh, uh, added by you only can join the course. The others cannot join into the course. So that is the best method of uh, uh, enrolling the students. There are three enrollment methods available, manual enrollment, guest access and self-enrollment. So uh, the manual enrollment, you can again manual enrollment, you can add one by one or you can add in bulk. Okay. Guest access, uh, those who are visiting your website can access your content. Okay. But the, some contents are restricted to the guests, so they cannot see all the contents and they cannot participate in any activity. And self enrollment, you can send the link to the students uh, of uh, link of your website. They can enroll by themselves by answering a set of question. What we are uh, doing right now by register, for registering some workshop, we are doing some enrollment methods. No, like that, students can uh, enroll themselves into your course website. Okay. So these are the various uh, enrollment options available. So the previous one you can see. This is the chart icon where the students can pose a question that can be seen by a, seen by the course uh, administrator. Okay. So this is uh, how to grade learners assignment. That's what I already explained to you. Uh, once the student submitted assignment, you can see the grade uh, icon. You click that, it will take you to the page where you can uh, assign the marks and you can book your comments. So this is for the screen. So you can click the grade, uh, grade icon. This is the file the students uploaded. And if you give any comments, that will be visible here. Okay. So that's all. Uh, so this is a, a link for the resource page I have created for the uh, Moodle course. So and this is the Moodle website. You can access. Uh, for any type of uh, Moodle official training. So these are the various uh, trainings offered by the Moodle itself. So learn, uh, learn Moodle basics this is a very basic course, how to create a course in Moodle, which is offered uh, freely by the Moodle itself. <coughs> so this course is uh, normally offered two times in a year. Once in January, the other one in around uh, September or uh, August like that. You can uh, watch out uh, for this site regularly. You can see that when the course is offered freely. Even uh, Moodle Teaching Basics also is a free course. Moodle as admin basic is also a free course. But it will not give you the certificates. For certificates, you have to pay. 
for uh, getting certificates, you have to pay. This is a free course and you will get a free certificate. So this is offered freely by Moodle itself. So this is a certificate uh, of uh, Moodle. This is a very basic course, for, uh, but the, this will not give you a deep insight into the entire contents of the Moodle. Okay? So the best uh, way is you practice, uh, practice the usage by giving, by implementing into your regular uh, teaching or giving to short in a small way and you can explore a lot of uh, things into the uh, Moodle. Okay. Uh, let me take you to the Moodle page. Let, uh, let me see whether any other uh, some options are useful for So these are the uh, regular uh, classrooms. And so hopefully, uh, hopefully the in nutshell, the majority of the contents are required for the creating a course outcome. Course uh, is given. So I will share the link of this. the chat box also so mm, that's all for uh, today's section uh, thank you if you have any query uh, i will try to explain in a practical viewpoint thank you jabin sir uh, over to you i have completed the things uh thank you sir thanks uh participants uh, if you have any queries or uh, doubts you can type the same in the chat box or you can directly ask to our expert speaker So the consolidated grades, uh, someone asked about the consolidated grades. You can uh, go to the grades uh, page, you will see the uh, grades of the students and uh, final grades and all it is shown. So here, uh, this is my participants. So here you can, you will see the concern, the marks for the assignments and here you will see the course total. So out of uh, uh, 40 or 50, how they, how much they score, they, at the end they will see the uh, course total. So this is overall average course, okay. So uh, how much you are fixed and how, which are the course content, uh, course uh, grades you are taking accordingly, the, this formula can be modified. If you want to add as only few, you can add only few. Other, if you want to add everything into the grade, you can uh, set accordingly. So that depends upon the uh, conditions you are given. So for uh, my students class, I, what I used to is, I am simply giving an assignment one and assignment two, uh, and, uh, and the conventional test marks are happened in a different way. So only I am taking this assignment one and assignment two and seminar marks only to the internal marks. So that uh, grades I can uh, download as a Excel sheet and uh, I'll show you something. So this is uh, my subject uh, uh, to the, my students, so press tool subject. So where I can go for the grades page. So this is the grades obtained by the students for assignment one, assignment two and uh, seminar presentation and all. So here is the final course content. So you can download the, this content into a Excel sheet, okay? So that is, uh, you can export grade in grades page, you can click export and you can, what are the marks uh, you want to export? You can export as a 
and which format you want to export that type of uh, that also you can choose and you can download so that will be downloaded as a excel sheet so from that the mark can be uh, taken to the other part so ca test one ca test two other things that is happened in a conventional way you can uh, ha have this uh, uh, mark to the that uh, marks you can add both and you can prepare the internal marks so you can take uh, grades from the uh, module site like this okay and you can uh, take the you know the student's name and uh, from that you can take them mark to the uh, the main internal assessment mark calculator okay so this is for assignment mark one for deepak and this is a mark uh, uh, ramnath mark so you can take this marks to the uh conventional uh, ca calculator uh, tools okay that's all. so if you have any query uh, you can unmute mic or and ask that's the uh, any co tools for mentor course supervisor to command on students work in assembly yes sir that's what i uh, i shown you uh once the student submitted the assignment you can uh, click the grade where it will take a page uh, you can uh, i will i will show something so this is assignment one so so these are the assignment i'll go to the assignment one so these are the student we all submissions so here if you click the grade it will take you to the assignment page so this is the 65 assignments are there or uh, this is one of uh, assignment one of 65 you can give your comments here you can uh, type your comments you can give your mark here uh, like the, i already i show some assignments with some comments also so i put to good for this one this is not submitted as a one so you can mark your comments here that is possible okay sir if you have any query you can ask sir. thank you participants if you have any queries you can kindly ask it now to the chat box or you can unmute yourself and ask to our expert speaker okay sir so sir i hope uh, There's no okay, so no issue, sir. Uh, I have shared my email ID also in the PPT. I will share the PPT PDF of the PPT. Okay, sir. Share it with you. Okay. Uh, I am always uh, welcome for any clarification, even in the offline. Uh, they can directly contact me for any uh, support. But uh, as I told you already in the beginning, I am not fully explored the model. Okay. I mean, uh, uh, the possible uh, clarification I can give definitely, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank okay, you. sir. We can formally conclude the session, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. So, par par participants, uh, I deem it a great honor and privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this memorable occasion. Let me first start by giving the glory to Almighty by taking today's uh, occasion a resounding success. First and foremost, I like to thank thank our expert speaker. Uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. K. S. Shekhar Sir, uh, Senior Lecturer, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Murugappa Polytechnic College, Chennai, uh, who, despite his busy schedule, uh, has found time to grace this occasion, and also express my heartfelt thanks uh, to our IE coordinators members and IE faculty coordinators. I also like to thank our well wisher. Uh, of our principal dr l ganesan and our vice principal dr s rajagarnagaran for 
for helping us to organizing such wonderful event i owe this special gratitude to the teaching non teaching and the, all the faculty members who have worked hard to ensure the occasion becoming a memorable success i thank all the distinguished par- invitees and the participants uh, who showed their interest for this event and made the event a grand success thank you all